Grab your umbrella parachute, your favorite mining pickaxe, maybe even a bomb or two for good measure, and get ready to walk determinedly in one direction, because it's time to play Lemmings on the mighty Commodore Amiga. And you know, it is the Amiga version for sure, when you start hearing a floppy drive making the same noises as a bear with a bad case of indigestion. Lemmings features four difficulty levels, namely fun, tricky, taxing and mayhem. And if you're new to the game, then fun definitely is the level to start with. The aim of the game is pretty straightforward. Help your lemmings to find a way towards the exit. You do that by assigning skill sets like digging, climbing or even bombing if you want. The difficulty level fun works pretty much like a tutorial in the sense that it starts off with one assignable skill per level. Level 1 allows you to assign diggers level 2 floaters with their handy umbrella parachutes, level 3 the uncompromising yet useful blockers. The learning curve in Lemmings really is extremely gentle and I quite like that. Not only are you given ample time and opportunity to understand how the game works, but you can also really soak in the game's soundtrack and atmosphere. Besides, going back from an optical mouse to good old-fashioned rubber ball and plastic wheels also requires some readjustment time. And later on, precision and speed will be just as important as thinking out of the box in order to make it through more taxing levels. Being one of the most popular titles for the system, you're likely to find an old pirated copy of Lemmings in pretty much every disc lot you can buy. But even original copies will, in Europe at least, rarely cost more than 20 to 30 euro. The Amiga version, of course, is best enjoyed on a good old-fashioned CRT tube, which on camera, due to the 50Hz output, will sadly flicker like hardcore epilepsy. Now, if you do want to play Lemmings and have nor an Amiga nor the pocket money to obtain one, then don't despair. The game has been ported to pretty much everything that can handle 16-bit graphics, including browsers. And the version on funhtml5games.com is a pretty faithful recreation of the Amiga original. If you like puzzle games, or even just gruesome pixelated deaths, then you should definitely give Lemmings a go. It is, for good reason, on pretty much every single top 10 list of must-play games for the Amiga. Oh, 
I for sure can't get enough of it. That's it for today. Stay tuned. Bye.